let's do it once more. One single unifying note, okay? Okay, good, good, really good, guys. Okay, so the observant amongst you will have noticed that we have a newcomer in the group. Everyone, this is Patrick. Hi, hello, uh, please carry on. Uh, pretend I'm not here. As you'll see, Patrick has a camera. He's going to be with us for the next few days. He's going to be filming us, which is very exciting. Um, he's going to be helping us spread our message to a wider audience, which I'm very pleased about. Okay, let's be upstanding, please. Palms to the ceiling. Palms to the ceiling, okay. Meat is, is murder. murder. Meat is murder. Meat is murder. Price. Oh. Uh, is this not the yoga class? Does it look like a yoga class? No. Oh, well, maybe Upstairs, you should... dear. Avocado. Oh yes. Oh sorry. Sorry, I thought you were talking about the yoga man. Hello. I'm here in the headquarters of a secret group of vegan activists. <laughs> I think you should call it the Vegilantes. Yeah, because we're vegans and... Um, That's clever. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? We're vegans and we're Vigilantes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, man, I'm sorry about Julie earlier. Oh. She's a bit of a live wire. Yeah, she's very passionate. Um, we were actually founder members of the group, so... Oh, yeah? Yeah, we've got a lot of history. <laughs> right, let's crack on, shall we? And cut. Wonderful. Oh. Really nice. Phew. <laughs> that's it? That's enough? Uh, yeah. Great. That's it for now. Cool. Oh. Yeah, it was really poignant, so I'm just going Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. I wish the other guys felt the same way. Um, what do you mean? Oh, I don't know. It's politics, isn't it? I fear there may be a schism. <laughs> <laughs> they all seem to like you, though. Yeah, some of them. But I don't know. I feel like I'm losing some of the others. I think they want me to do something a bit more bold, a bit more active. It's all politics, Patrick. Fuck! Quickly, quickly. Yeah, now this is where we put our beliefs into action. So what we've got, some guys doing some stuff with the new... Oh, oh, Gavin, come and look at Gavin. This is brilliant. This is so good. Come on. Shh, 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 guys, we're going to get this film. Hold it Yes, I'd like to order some food, please. Yep. Could have some uh, sweet and sour chicken balls. Um, beef noodles, pork noodles, um, lamb noodles. Yep. Um, but pro and prawn toast. Yeah, some uh, prawn toast. Thank you. For delivery. Yeah. The address. Yep. Uh, it's. Uh, Press off, you meat eating son of a Oh my god! Gavin, that was amazing! Oh. Susan and Janet are currently engaged in defacing the newspaper. Tell them a bit about what you're doing. Yeah, you see, that is Clarkson. He's the arch enemy. So what they do is they take it from the news agent and then they, do, and then they, and then they put it back into circulation. So they can, 
Yes. Delivery for you. Oh, yes, great, guys, check this out. This is brilliant, thanks, man. Great, I've been looking forward to this. Now, let's get this open. There we are. Ah, here they are. Now, some of the members said we needed to harden our image, Julie. <laughs> so I ordered these, they were pretty expensive, but check it out. Here, here, take one, Susan, that's for you. Yeah, now we've got another one here. Yeah, Janet, that's for you. Yes, but they're leather, Stephen. No, no, that's the brilliant thing. They're not leather. They're pleather. <laughs> oh, wow. 100% real leather. What? Nathan? Yeah. See, see, here we are, everyone. Here's just a, a, it's another example of the stupidity and ineptitude of this man. See, we, we're trying to make a difference here. But all we end up making is, is this. This pathetic shit. Sorry, it's time for action. Yes. It's time for real action. Yeah, I'm all right, mate. Christ alive! <laughs> That'll teach you to do a two-for-one offer. What the fuck are you doing? No, stay where you are. Man, stay man, there. It's not worth it. Oh, no, yeah, quick, let's go, go, go! Oh! Yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, 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 this way, this way, come on. Come on! Oh, my God. It, it was a rush. <laughs> I absolutely slipped. Patrick was brilliant. He got everything on film. Those butchers will not be doing a two-for-one offer anytime soon, no, I can tell you. Nice. And wait, wait, wait. Here's the really good news. Patrick, the little beauty. Let's have a look at his face. There it is. Patrick. Patrick used his connections to sell the footage to local news, so it's going to be on the telly right now. Quick, quick, quick. Get it. So this is a proud day for vigilantes everywhere. Yay! <laughs> Seven customers for the last eight years. Uh, these reports suggesting a man suffering from mental health problems went right. earlier I'm into uh, a Cumberland sausage at the wall. It did lead to the man who uh, run. Uh, let's just take a look at these pictures. They are just coming into us. This amateur footage uh, showing the moment it all took place. Let's go, go, go! Well, uh, further to this, it has uh, become apparent that the man who was injured, who we saw there, was planning to run the London Marathon next week in aid of children with leukaemia. Of course, leukemia. given the uh, state of those injuries, it now looks like that fundraising will be off, leaving uh, those children without that extra support. All of this taking place within the last few hours. Right, let's take a look at the weather. See? I'm sick of this. He's making us look like a bunch of fucking idiots. I'm with Zeph. No, 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 wait, guys, guys. No, 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 no. Look, there were a lot of untruths in that report. Please, please, first of all, that was a Lincolnshire sausage, not a Cumberland sausage. Oh. Not now, Patrick. Listen up, everyone. Tonight, this all ends. Meet! Meet! It's murder! Meet! It's murder! Meet! It's murder!
to wait. I don't know what's going on, but it looks really fucking bad. some good news for the local high street in Canonbury in North London. After the disappearance of butcher shop owner Ron Boardman earlier this month, well, the local community have come together to reopen the missing man's shop. Well, Julie Patmore has taken over the day-to-day -day business and released a statement today thanking the community for their support, in which she said, it is a great pleasure to be spreading a message of responsibly sourced meat within the community. There we go, uh, news from North London. Right, on to the weather and another glorious day to come tomorrow. <coughs> 